Now you're probably wondering why a plastic bottle is mixed in with all these other items. Well, it's because we're all on our way to the recycling sorting facility. In central Iowa, residents can toss all their recyclables together in the same cart like this. It's so simple. Everyone can take part in conserving natural resources and preserving landfill space. Welcome to central Iowa's local sorting facility. This place is full of machines and people who work hard to separate recyclables that are all mixed together at homes, schools, and businesses. After sorting, the recyclables are sold to companies across the country that turn the materials into something new. But before they are sold, they need to be screened, sorted, and bailed. Let's take a closer look at this process in action. It all begins here on the tipping floor, where trucks from all around central Iowa come to unload bottles, cans, paper, and everything else people put in their recycling carts. A powerful loader mixes the materials before scooping it and then loading it into the hopper. This machine puts the material on the conveyor belt. First, quick-handed workers survey the items and pull out all the garbage that can't be recycled. This unrecyclable material is called contamination, and when too much winds up in the facility, things don't operate smoothly. Plastic bags are some of the worst contaminants at the sorting facility, so remember to keep your recyclables loose in your cart and only recycle items listed in the guidelines. After the garbage is removed, cardboard is the first material to be sorted. Watch it bounce and flip and rock and roll over the sorting stars, and then fall to the floor where it will wait to be bailed. As that's happening, the smaller materials fall through the sorting stars and onto another conveyor belt. Here, the screen separates flat objects, like paper, from the three-dimensional objects such as plastic bottles, cartons, glass bottles, and aluminum cans. Paper gets tossed up and climbs over the sorting stars. These sorting stars are similar to those that sorted the cardboard, except for they're smaller and closer together. As the paper falls off the top edge, it is sent down one last conveyor belt, where workers sift through and remove any items like flattened milk jugs that may have accidentally made it through. After the contamination is removed, all the paper drops down to the floor and waits to be bailed. Plastic bottles and containers fall through to another conveyor where they had to be sorted. First, they go through an optical sorter. This advanced technology identifies plastic bottles and shoots a puff of air at them. The air blows the bottles into their own bin where they wait to be bailed. All the other plastic containers continue in the conveyor belt and are sorted by hand. Not all plastics are created the same. For this reason, milk jugs, detergent bottles, and yogurt cups are separated into their own bins and stored until they are bailed. The cross belt magnet is a strong magnet that attracts all the steel cans and pulls them off the conveyor belt and into a bin where they are stored until it's time for them to be bailed. And finally, the aluminum cans get sorted, and this is done by an eddy current. The big magnet inside creates a current that repels the aluminum cans off the conveyor belt and into their own storage bin. Wait. Now what happens to all the material that's been sorted? As soon as enough material is collected, it will be pushed onto another conveyor and fed through the machine that creates compact bales for resale. These bales are purchased and then shipped to companies all over the world who want to make new things out of your waste. So that's how it all happens. It starts with you following the recycling guidelines and ends with us sorting and reselling the material in an effort to preserve landfill space and conserve natural resources.